What we are about to see next is how pressing on someone's foot can help you relieve your headache. I have here Mr. Yen, who specializes in reflexology, and he's going to take us to a treatment. Mr. Yen, please, go ahead. Reflexology has been around since ancient times. Most people believe that the earliest form originated in China around 5,000 years ago. There have been several drawings unearthed all over Asia of diagrams showing people using the feet to heal. Evidence of the use of reflexology has been unearthed in ancient Egyptian tombs, as well as by ancient art of the Incas. The underlying theory behind reflexology is that there are areas on the feet and hands that correspond to specific organs and other parts of the body. Practitioners believe that applying pressure to these areas can promote health in the corresponding organs through energetic pathways. They also believe that reflexology helps relieve stress, which in turn helps the body heal and regenerate itself. A modern scientific explanation is that applying pressure to a part of the body may send signals that balance the central nervous system or release chemicals such as endorphins that reduce pain and stress. So how would reflexology help you with your headache? The tips of the toes, and in particular the big toe, represents the head. So a practitioner would press and squeeze on your big toe to relieve the pain. Next, we'll take you to Dr. Yang, who will tell us what the traditional Chinese medicine's view is on headaches. Dr. Yang, thank you for letting us come today. Uh, it's my pleasure. <laughs> Can you tell us what traditional Chinese medicine considers the cause of most headaches? Okay, so in traditional Chinese medicine view, most of the headache are caused by external reason and the internal reason. External reason most of related with uh, like a weather change or seasonal, uh, such as uh, we call the external wind, external cold, or even in a uh, humid summertime, we call the uh, external damp heat invading your body. So this type of external reason usually uh, is uh, caused acute headache or some chronic headache triggered by external reason. But most of the uh, clinic uh, we have been seeing po a patient is from chronic headache. In t traditional Chinese uh, medicine view, this uh, chronic headache most from interior reasons. So the interior re reasons is mostly is because of interior organs out of balance, or we call the interior qi and blood circulation blockage. So qi is part of the energy or we believe your body has some, uh, uh, a lot of flame damp blockage your head, then you get a headache. It's usually triggered by stress, emotional frustration, and sometimes this interior reason is related with your, your food, your eating habits. So for example, some people overeating sweets or cheese or dairy products, so usually will produce a lot of damp and phlegm in the body, so blockage your head, so cause the headache. And also sometimes is from your body, your qi 
energy and blood is insufficiency. So you don't have enough nutrition to go ahead, to nourish your head, then you got a headache. In traditional Chinese medicine, what is the typical treatments for people who have headaches? People go to the acupuncture clinic, we get acupuncture treatment, and also we give the patient herbal tea, and also we could give the patient some suggestion and preventing the headache, especially for chronic recurrent headache. So for example, we training them to do acupressure. This is a very common point, so we call the he gu. Mm -hmm. So you can acupressure uh, every day, like uh, 10 minutes uh, massage. And uh, also, we also have another two very good uh, acupuncture, uh, acupressure points, which is located uh, behind uh, your ear. Mm -hmm. uh, so this we call the feng chi. Uh, so you can acupressure every day, oh. the push about 10 minutes. And another point very important, which is on the top of the head, which we call the bai hui. The most of the, you can go uh, from ear apex, goes to your top of the head. You find this point exactly, you acupressure the points about 10 minutes. So this is three points combination you do every day can prevent it. Uh, headache. So that's why preventing is more important. I think you mentioned dairy products. Is there any other foods that people should avoid who are suffering from headaches? Yeah, so we, when a patient comes to see us, we have to give patient a diagnosis. So based on uh, looking at your tongue mm -hmm. and check your pulse and uh, ask your lifestyle. So we figure out uh, this headache is from what's the reason. So there's one type of headache we call it because of your body has a lot of flame, has a lot of damp. But look into your tongue, your tongue coating is very thick, very sticky, wet sticky coating. And your pulse is quality is very uh, slippery. Mm -hmm. And we ask your uh, lifestyle, you said, oh, I drink a lot of you know, milk and eat a lot of cheese. So we diagnose this headache is from a turbid flame, blockage your head. So this type of patient definitely we will suggest that you reduce dairy product. You will get it much better and you have to do exercise. So when the exercise, you know, uh, being well, so your interior energy will go to the head. Mm -hmm. So your headache will be much better. What? So many reasons.